Hey guys, it's been a little while since we uh, talked last, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, reintroduce myself. Uh, my name is Josh Young, and today we just want to go ahead and talk um, a little bit about a big problem that is going on in the IC community and has been going on in the IC community for a long time. Um, and that problem is hunger and uh, nutritional needs. We feel that um, a lot of students aren't really, uh, they don't really have access to uh, food and personal care items that they should. Uh, being a college student, we are already sacrificed enough. Um, I believe that the last thing we should have to worry about is where we're going to get our next meal from. Um, unfortunately, there are people in the ISU community who struggle with that exact problem. They don't know where their next meal is coming from. Um, they don't have the adequate um, nutrition that they need to have. So uh, today we're going to address that problem a little bit. Luckily, ISU has several programs uh, in place to address that problem and to provide students with personal care items and uh, food. So, uh, the one that I'll be talking about specifically today is Benny's Pantry. So I'm sure a lot of you have heard about Benny's Pantry, uh, but let me go ahead and go over what they are and what they do. So, um, Benny's Pantry is a food bank specifically made for ISU students, uh, teachers, and faculty. And their goal is basically to alleviate food insecurity where it exists so that uh, as ISU students, teachers, and faculty, we can continue to explore, discover, and uh, persevere in our college pursuits. And they do that by removing this food insecurity barrier that uh, a lot of students face. So, uh, the statistics in the ISU community are uh, pretty overwhelming, really. Uh, let me go ahead and just read you a few. 50% of children enrolled at the Campus Early Learning Center qualify for need-based USDA food assistance. Over 60% of Idaho State undergraduate students qualify for the need-based Pell Grant, and over 70% of Idaho State students receive some type of financial aid. So that is just the ISU community. Let me read um, just a few that incorporate Idaho as a total. Uh, so, one in six Idahoans are food insecure, um, meaning that they do not have the proper quantities of food that they should have. Uh, one in four children in Idaho are food insecure. So, more children in Idaho are food insecure than adults, which is uh, sad. So, Benny's Pantry is awesome because they address that in the ISU community. So, uh, what you can do to help, you know, Benny's Pantry is great because they accept such a wide variety of donations. There's uh, non-perishable foods that you can donate, personal care items, monetary donations go a long way, and also non-tax deductible, or sorry, tax deductible uh, donations. So, those donations are huge. Um, because as students, we provide the most donations to Benny's Pantry. Um, some questions I'd like to ask are, uh, how often do you find yourself throwing food away um, because it has expired? Me, myself, I probably end up throwing away about 10% of the food that I buy um, because it has expired, which is really a huge number. and. Uh, it's pretty sad that that food could have gone to somebody in need and uh, somebody who desperately needs it. So if you're like me, um, that is uh, a certain problem that you could address uh, by donating to Benny's Pantry. Another question for you is what percent of your budget would you say that you spend on food? Um, to me, I probably spend at least 35% of my budget on food. 
food alone. And so that's pretty obvious that like I have uh, sufficient nutritional uh, needs, you know, like I, I have access to food, uh, pretty easy access. And that is all the more reason why um, I should donate to Benny's Pantry. Uh, an interesting fact for you here is that uh, a $1 donation, just $1, um, can supply two meals to a person in need, which is huge. I mean, just $1, 30% of my budget, I mean, that's a lot of money alone just for me. Think about just $1. Um, think about how much just a tiny percentage of my budget could uh, increase the quality of life for so many people. And it's huge, really. Um, so, some events that Benny's Pantry puts on. Uh, one is called the uh, Christmas Gift Support. So, essentially, uh, you can go and donate a child's uh, or children's gifts during Christmas time so that uh, children can have, you know, a more satisfactory and happy Christmas in that time, which everybody should. Another is the food drives that they do through the ACAD classes where you can just walk by the classrooms and uh, put in their bins uh, some non-perishable food items or personal care items. So, um, so that basically explains how accessible Benny's Pantry is and how easy it is to get involved and donate. So, um, in conclusion, I just want to say that College is already stressful enough, whether you're a student or a teacher or employed by the state. It's already stressful enough, and so you shouldn't have to wonder uh, where your next meal is coming from, or you should never have to feel like you're starving and that you can't get help, because help is certainly available. Uh, Benny's Pantry has made itself very available to students, uh, not only students, but teachers and faculty, um, but at the end of the day, Benny's Pantry can only do so much. It's truly up to us as students to uh, come together and improve our ISU community together through donations and volunteering and events, um, even just donating one dollar. I hope that after this presentation you feel more informed on the food insecurity that some ISU students face and that you'll be more motivated to help because of it. Uh, truly, as I just stated, it is up to us to help everyone else around us um, in our ISU community. Uh, it's sad the numbers of people that uh, go without food and um, it, it needs to be alleviated. So that is the problem, and uh, the solution is to come together as one and to stop this problem. So thank you very much, and uh, have a good rest of your day.